So which are the phenotypes which kind of occur with the classical levels mutation? Migraine is something that we look in, uh, deeply in our families, but also movement disorders, myoclonus uh, in particular, peripheral neuropathy, heart problem, problems, and hearing loss, and other Michel Lacanus like this syndrome, which is very, very rare. <coughs> so uh, in this uh, paper, uh, Coutinho and co-authors look at the occurrence of migraine in the Leber's family, uh, demonstrating which is that, which, that there is a occurrence of migraine along the maternal line. So you can have uh, the occurrence of, of migraine-like features in, the, in people carrying the Leber's mutation. Next, please. So we do look at our um, Leber's families, and uh, these studies, which is not uh, published yet, included 27 Leber's families, in total 100 subjects, and uh, these are 27 affected, and the others are just carrying the uh, Leber's mutation. And uh, we um, compare the prevalence of migraine in this population uh, in comparison to the general population. And uh, as you can see, uh, the um, occurrence of migraine is much higher in people carrying the Leber's mutation, both carriers and affected patients. Um, the reason why this uh, happens is not clear, but possibly the presence of mitochondrial dysfunction, which is related to the presence of uh, Leber's mutation, can af affect also the probabil probability of developed migraine. What was really interesting um, was the prevalence of migraine reported by both the affected and the unaffected group, which was over 50%, definitely higher than the rate in general population, around 18% in women. So we know that um, there is evidence of mitochondrial abnormalities in the migraineur's brain, but we should discuss if uh, migraine itself uh, should be considered a manifestation of um, the LHOM, of being a carrier or LHOM mutation, even without the visual defect. Uh, 